Okay, guys, thanks for coming in. Earlier today at Bank of America's behest, my head marshal, Daryl Bevins, and I met with senior commercial loan officer, Carol Hampton, to discuss 3Jack National's financial situation. After some very brief pleasantries, Carol opened up the meeting by saying that in her 26 years of commercial lending, she has never seen a customer display such a basic lack of understanding of the loan process and has never witnessed a client so boldly attempt to shirk their financial responsibilities. She alleges that 3Jack National is not ma maintaining an adequate level of insurance, that we have failed to furnish any audited financial statements, and that we have not complied with most, if not all, of the applicable laws as they relate to commercial lending. Daryl then attempted to counter those allegations by asking Carol if her and her husband Dale still lived at 9221 East Farley with their two teenage daughters, Ava and Sydney. As he showed her a real-time video of Carl Brubaker's van parked in front of their house. But I interrupted him and told him that wouldn't be necessary. Instead, I produced the financial documentation that Carol required, which, oh by the way, balances to the penny. Sadly, this balance sheet didn't satisfy Carol, so effective immediately, we are being forced to ask our members to partner with us by paying a founder's assessment in the amount of $10,000 per member to get us through these unprecedented times. This includes the eight new members who have joined in the last 24 hours. With over 2,000 current members, that will immediately raise over $2 million dollars that can be used to begin to service this debt, among other things. I don't have to tell you guys that being a member of a high-end club comes with high-end financial obligations, and I appreciate each and every one of you heeding this call, including Michael Hemert, who joined the club this morning at 10.48 a.m. Crisis averted. Okay, thanks guys.